Hi guys, um, good day. So um, today I am going to show you how to make um, the gourmet sandwich, the favorite ng mga anak ko. I tried to do it a couple of days ago and they loved it. So sabi ko for a change, um, para hindi naman laging rice and breakfast, I made this gourmet sandwich which is basically ham, egg, and cheese pero may twist dun sa bread niya. So what I did was ginawa kong parang French toast yung bread niya. Kasi nga naman sa kakapanood namin ng Korean novela ng asawa ko, marami po akong nakitang mga ways na pwede pa natin lagyan ng twist ang mga breads ng anak natin. So, right now, I am going to show you the ingredients before we start. Okay? Okay, so first, our ingredient would be the bread, of course. So, dito, ang binibili namin is the quake baked milk bread. Okay, kasi napakasarap niya. Hindi siya sober and soft. And it's just right. And then, of course, eggs. Ayan. So, kailangan natin ng roughly mga um, five. If you're making five sandwiches, so one egg for each sandwich. So, I need to make five sandwiches. So, limang kakailanganin ko. And three for my butter. And then, of course, we have my cheese. The cheese. Okay, so I prefer the slices na. Para at least ready na siya. Na ilagay. The ham slices, of course. So, this one. This is um, smoked turkey breast. So, medyo maganda siya. Mas healthy kasi wala siyang taba. It's um, from uh, turkey's breast. So, yan. Slice na po siya. And then, we have our butter. Siyempre po, pag ginawa natin yung bread natin. We also have um, the classic mayo. Para pampal creamy rin po ng sandwich natin. So, that's it. And now, we're ready to do it. Join me. Okay, right now, we are going to beat three eggs. Then, hindi ko mahanap ang aking um, pag-bait. I would rather use a fork. Okay, then I'll add a pinch of salt. And of course, I will put in a tablespoon of brown sugar to taste. At para medyo sweet ang breading natin. I mean, ang ating bread. So, mix them all together. And then, of course, I would need a dash of vanilla. Vanilla extract. Oops, there you go. I don't want and then mix them together. We just add a added a little salt para at least magblend yung sweetness niya. Just the way my boys like it. Okay, the first step would be iinit muna natin yung frying pan. Because we need to fry the turkey ham. Kasi ayaw ng kids ko ang cold cuts ang dating. So we may have to fry the ham, the turkey ham. So ayan po, a little oil. And then we'll now put the turkey ham. Para uminit lang siya ng konti. There we go. Let's see. Okay. Hindi po natin siya itutusta. Just enough na mainitan lang siya. Okay? Para medyo malambot pa rin yung dating niya. 
at lalabas pa rin yung taste. can hear the sound na. At medyo nagbabubble-bubble na siya ng konti. Ayan, which means naiinit na siya. Mmm, I like that sound. Okay, this is enough. Okay, so susunod na natin yung isa. And once this is done, ang isusunod naman natin ay yung eggs na ipa-fry natin. Okay? So now, done na yung mga ham natin. Okay? So the next step would be to fry the eggs. Okay? So ang gagawin natin sa eggs natin, although normally, uh, my kids have their own preferences pagdating sa eggs. Um, my eldest would love sunny side up. Okay, but for the sandwich, kailangan medyo gabasagin natin ng konti yung yellow. Of course, we'll uh, add a little salt to taste. So, if a fry lang po natin siya ng ganyan. Okay? So, basag ng yellow. So, binasag ko po siya intentionally. Para at least, kapag kinagat nila yung sandwich nila, hindi po tutulo yung yellow part ng egg. Okay? So, yan po. We'll just fry them this way. Okay. Hindi ko na po ipapakita ng uh, pag-fry ng lahat. Mamaya na lang po pag gagawin na natin yung sandwich. Okay? Now, we're done with the last egg. Okay? So, six ang na-fry natin. So, like I told you, I'm very good when it comes to cooking eggs. However, for this specific sandwich, sinadya ko pong basagin yung yellow niya. Okay? And my kids would prefer din na hindi siya scrambled. Gusto nila may white pa rin. So, ginawa ko, binasag ko lang po yung yellow. Okay? So, this time, we're ready to make our bread na. This time, we are going to make the French toast, the, the bread which is a la French toast. Okay? So, I have a piece of bread here. All I have to do is to dip it there. Okay? Dip it po siya ng kabilaan para makuha niya ang kanyang taste. And then, using the butter, nakasama po sa ingredients natin kanina. Ayan. So, iyaan na lang po natin yan. And this is where we are going to dip the bread. Parang kailangan tong ang gagamitin ko dito. Okay. Ayan po. So, sa butter po natin siya niluto. Pero, binipula natin siya sa ating butter with eggs, vanilla, and brown sugar. So, ayan po. Okay. So, ipapa crispy lang natin ng konti yung kabila niya before we move on and flip it. Ayan. So, na-achieve na natin ng konti yung gusto natin appearance ng bread. Okay. So, ayan po siya. Ayan yung excess. Hmm. I can smell it from here. Napakabango po niya. So, nag-aamoy po talaga yung vanilla ano niya. Although, of course, mas maganda sana kung maple syrup ang gagamitin natin. So, para siyang yung ginagamit natin sa pancake. But then again, this will do. Okay, can you see? Ang ganda na po ng color niya. Okay. Ina-achieve ko kasi dito yung French toast ng Starbucks. So, when I got to taste it, sabi ko sa sarili ko, hmm, parang meron siyang egg. Like a typical French toast. Pero parang may uh, hint of vanilla. Okay, so ayan na po siya. Ang ganda po niyang tignan. So that's it. Let's move on to the next bread now. I'll be back. Okay, so we're done. The first step that we're going to do now, ayan po, sasampulin lang natin. Okay, is first, let's put on 
a piece of ham. Nasa inyo na po kung ipapwesto nyo siya ng maayos. Okay, para medyo makapal siya, we'll try to fold it this way na lang. Or balik na rin natin. There you go. And then we'll put some mayo. Make sure to spread the mayo prior to putting the cheese. And then, time to put the cheese slice on top. Para habang mainit-init po yung ham natin, okay, didikit na po yung cheese. Okay, medyo nag-melt na yung cheese natin. Okay, let me just put it nicely. Okay, there you go. Let's put the cheese. And then, we will pop it with the egg. Okay, and we'll put mayo again because my kids would love extra mayonnaise for their sandwiches. And that's it. Ganun lang po kasimple ang ating gourmet sandwich. Okay? So basically po, ang nagdala dyan will be our bread which was cooked in buttered egg with brown sugar and vanilla. Okay? And ito po yung palaman niya. Okay, turkey ham, cheese, egg, and some mayo. Okay, garantisadong magugustuhan po ng kids ninyo. That's it. Look at the appearance. Okay, napakasarap po niyang tignan. And it's ready to eat. Let's see the feedback of our kids in a while. Do you like it, Dad? As usual, speechless na naman ang husband ko. Is it good? Is it good? Naka-side view ka. Is it good? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. So, how do you find it? Is it yummy? Yeah. Perfect. Can you open? Do you like it, son? Hmm. Perfect, ma'am. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's a simple um, sandwich na tinatawag kong gourmet sandwich, my own version, na pwede ninyong gawin sa bahay. So napakadali lang po. You've seen the steps. First, for the bread, all you have to do is to batter at least 3 to 4 eggs. Lagin nyo lang po ng 1 tablespoon of brown sugar and uh, a little vanilla para po maglasa po siya ng konting, uh, mag mag-sweet po siya ng konti. And then, of course, it's all up to you kung vanilla pong ilalagay ninyo or kung gusto nyo, cinnamon naman na extract. Okay? It depends on your preferences. But then, pwede rin pong plain uh, grilled cheese lang siya or you can put ham and egg lap, like what I did. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you for watching. And please do like and subscribe and uh, share our YouTube channel. This has been Mommy Cell. Thank you for watching.